Guys, today is another episode of Raw Materials and today we talk about Hedion. Hedion is actually a magical material and you must be wondering, am I using this just as a clickbait word? No, Hedion is truly magical. And to know more, sit back and enjoy because this video is going to be a little more longer than the Ethyl Maltol video, but totally worth it. My journey of understanding Hedion started when I was blending multiple materials to make something complicated or more unique. And every time I used to mix a couple of materials, they would not mix really well together. It used to be always like black and white. There was, not, there was no gray in between that was mixing the black and white. And I wondered why. I did a lot of reading. And in almost every article, I came across Hedion. And I was like, I need to read more about Hedion amongst the other materials that are also known for good blending. And uh, that's where the journey for me reading more about Hedion started. I stumbled upon this one particular article that actually caught my attention. What I'll do is, I'll put a screenshot of that particular article, that specific paragraph that caught my attention now so that you can pause and read that by yourself. Now that you read that article, that small little boy, Jacques Cavalier, grew up to be a master perfumer. And when a master perfumer tells you that this raw material is good, it's not good. It's goddamn good. And I was like, I need to read more and if possible I need to get my hand on a sample of Hedion. I reached out to a supplier and I literally was like please give me Hedion I want to test it and they were like yeah sure we'll send it to you. I was like wow I'm getting Hedion and while the whole thing was in transit I read more and there was this article uh, which again caught my attention this time it was about uh, an actor a very famous actor called uh, Steve McQueen Supposedly, he only used to wear Dior's Eau Sauvage. And Eau Sauvage has 3% Hedion. And Eau Sauvage was the perfume that uh, the small kid uh, Jack Cavalier smelled at night, which his father was working on with Edmund Rudnitska. So it was like very nice. It's a very interesting story. I thought that you guys should know or might be interested in knowing. So that was that and after that <clears throat> again I was reading and uh, there was another article that came up uh, that talked about pheromonic qualities of Hedion and I was like mm, pheromones because somewhere I had read that humans are not capable of uh, understanding or uh, identifying pheromones or actually getting stimulated by pheromones and this was I don't know if the study was right or I was like it's okay I'm not going to be uh, very bothered about if Hedion has pheromonic qualities or not but then before just one day before the sample came I got my eyes on another article and this was an article by a German university which actually mentioned about uh, Hedion being the only aromatic compound that actually stimulates the VN1R1 uh, receptor of pheromones in humans. And I was like, okay, why not? Because I kind of uh, believe these studies because they have done, they have spent a lot of time and effort in doing these kind of studies and write and they write papers about it. So I was like, okay, why not? Hedion has pheromones. And added advantage. I'm not going to be like, hey, tch, 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 girls, girls, girls. No, I'm not going to do that. So that's that. And finally, after a few days, I got my hands on this five gram sample of Hedion. And I was like, this doesn't smell of jasmine. This smells of something menthol-y. And I was like, ha, no. And 
I opened all the other seven raw materials that I got and they actually smelled the same. So I assumed that the guy who was packing had something on his hands. So then I actually opened it and then like I put it on my hand, I rubbed it and I smelled it and I'm like, oh damn, that smells like rotten jasmine flowers. How can someone like this? I shut this thing, I kept it aside and I started working on the other raw materials. The next day I was like, you know, I'll just dilute my raw materials like how I always do at a particular percentage. I'm like, okay, let's dilute Hedion as well because I knew uh, after reading a lot and listening from other perfumers that each raw material works very differently and smells very differently at different uh, dilutions. So maybe Hedion at 100%, which I just put directly was hideous. Maybe it's nice at a lower percentage, maybe 10%, maybe 50 I don't know. I just made a random approximate 10% dilution. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try it someday because I was really excited because ethyl maltol was one of the uh, materials that I received. And uh, I was working with ethyl maltol that day. The next day I was like, anyways, I'm going to take a bath. Let me smell hideo. I sprayed it, I literally was like this, I was again like why, how can someone like dead jasmine flowers and I was like no, uh, I was supposed to take a shower and I got delayed because I had to go somewhere and uh, during the whole period I kept getting very nice whiffs of jasmine and like what involuntarily i kept smelling my hand and it just started getting better literally it just started getting better i was like interesting and then i come home and i'm like after opening the cap it goes outside interesting and it literally caught my attention and after that I was like a big fan of Hedion. I have still some left in this but then I ordered this. You must have been wondering what is this right? This is Hedion. I have like a bunch of Hedion. I love this thing. So I got this and again the same thing when I oh I love this thing I I never thought I would say this but it's so addictive trust me guys the first time you will spray it on your hand or you are going to apply Hedio and, and smell it you will definitely say this stinks this smells like dead jasmine flowers how can anyone like this? But trust me, give it a couple of wearings. Give it some time. Give it some time. And it will amaze you. So, I have another like dilution of video here. And this is my ethyl motor here. Hedion does not damage the bottle like ethyl maltol there's no sign of rusting so hedion also supposedly is a safer material than ethyl maltol with aluminium but otherwise ethyl maltol is safe as well but anyways hedion you i'm storing it in aluminium bottle so it's completely fine here because it came in an aluminium bottle uh, that's that and I always have this one Hedion with me I admire this thing guys I admire it it's <clears throat> the first three seconds is extremely synthetic <clears throat> and it it literally hits your nose it's like <clears throat> it's tadka maarte hai wo <clears throat> you get that but after that five seconds, it's, <sighs> I love this thing. 
I know I have told this a multi, I have told multiple times, but I love this thing. <coughs> then I thought that I'll let you guys also know about this that hedion is a magical material. Uh, I want you guys to try this out, not as a perfume, but as a raw material, as a fragrance that you would like to smell for yourself and not for someone else like you know you, you're not gonna be wearing hedion and walking out into a party and get compliments actually you might i don't know but hedion is i honestly believe a must-have material or even a singular note of jasmine it is it does wonders and as usual i love materials like this that help in improving performances of perfumes and hedion will not improve your performance in with terms like increasing by multiple hours or increasing projection it just makes it makes your perfume a little more sophisticated this is to be added for sophistication not for nuclear projection or long lasting like till eternity or something like that no this this is a note to be enjoyed by self so i have spoken a lot and then uh, yeah this was this video i will definitely be uh coming out with 50 ml bottles of hedion because uh, I truly believe that people who love perfumes will love hedion and guys uh, hedion does not last as a top note for long you must be wondering what does it mean when I say it does not last as a top note for long because hello mom I am still in the video. <laughs> so yeah, um, Hedion does not last as a top note for long and you must be wondering what does it mean when I say Hedion does not last as a top note for long because it was the same thing that I said for Ethyl Maltol as well that Ethyl Maltol does not uh, work as a top note for long. <clears throat> the smell of Jasmine is going to fade away in some time probably an hour, probably two hours, depending on how much you sprayed, where you sprayed, at what concentration you sprayed. But Hedion, on the other hand, even if the top note is gone, it still works as a blender for your mid note and the bottom note. So Hedion works throughout. Same thing with Ethyl Maltol, it works throughout. But as a top note, it's gone pretty fast. So do notice the next time if I have said that it goes off as a top note but stays longer in your formulation as a workhorse. So I think today is a long video. I am really sorry if I bored you guys with so much talking. So subscribe to this channel in case you want to know more about the upcoming raw materials and uh, more details about uh, the next launches. Uh, Hedion will be launched soon. Uh, for more information on when this will be launched, you can follow me on Instagram as well. That's Aroma Artisans. Thank you guys for staying for such a long video. Take care.